The assembly of standard long shaft sets is conducted through the following steps. Step 1. Attach the engine base mount to the gunwale of the vessel by tightening washers. Step 2. Attach the engine base to the engine base mount and tighten the nuts underneath. Step 3. Place a prepared engine inside the engine base. Observe whether the engine and engine base have been placed in appropriate positions before tightening nuts at four points. Step 4. Insert the handle into the handle insertion point on the engine base at an angle that is appropriate for steering the vessel. Tighten nuts at two points on the engine base. Step 5. Unscrew the washers fastened to the filter plate that covers the throttle of the engine. Step 6. Remove the wire located inside the throttle cable. Fully insert the wire into the slot on top of the engine. Insert one end of the throttle cable into the slot on the steering handle. Fully insert the wire into the other end of the throttle cable. Tightly clamp the black wire by tightening nuts to prevent the wire from slipping. Step 7. Place the engine filter plate into its original position before tightening washers. Step 8. Position the throttle cable case on the slot at the end of the handle before tightening screws and nuts. Insert the wire into the case and tighten screws and nuts. This concludes the installation of the handle. Step 9. Begin assembling the engine housing by connecting the internal axle of the housing to the engine axle. Observe the position of the three nuts and whether they correspond with the nuke of the engine axle. When the two components have been assembled, tighten the three nuts. Step 10. Assemble the flange with the engine housing by observing the location of the bearings on the engine housing. The bearings should fit properly into the axle of the engine. Grease can be coated on the flange before it is installed into the engine housing. Properly align the two slots and tighten nuts at four points. Step 11. Use an open-end wrench with the socket joint to tighten the flange by turning it in a clockwise direction until completely tight in the internal axle. Step 12. Grease both grease points and tighten washers over the flange. Grease can be coated on the flange if not already done in accordance with Step 10. Pack grease into the flange until completely coated.
Step 13. Install the long shaft onto the flange or the socket joint and tighten two washers. Step 14. Remove brass nuts from the long shaft in order to install propellers. Observe the nuke of the long shaft and the propellers to ensure that they are aligned. After installing the propeller, tighten the brass nuts.